Hello, my sweet crafty friends. This is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. And today in our continuing series, Fun Card Folds, we're going to make a gatefold card. And we're going to do something a little different for the closure. We'll be using Create a Critter, one of my favorites, and it's a really cute, simple cartridge to use, and two of my Cards TV stamp sets. For the sentiment on the front, we're going to use O oh Nuts. <laughs> that kind of gives you a clue what we might be using from Create a Critter. And for the inside, we're going to use Happy Fall, Y'all, from the Thankful for You set. I'll get this out of the way, and we'll get started on our gatefold card. I've cut a piece of craft card stock for our gatefold card, and this is 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches. And we're going to use the Martha Stewart scoreboard to score this. If you don't have a scoreboard or a score pal or a score buddy, you can use the channel of your trimmer with a bone folder or a stylus or something where you can mark your score lines. But we're going to mark this first side or score it at two and an eighth inches. And then we're going to flip it around. Do the same thing on this side and score this at two and an eighth inches. And we're going to fold these in. And this gives us the two sides for our gatefold card. To cover the two front flaps of our gatefold card, I found this really cute plaid paper. This is from Recollections. And I've cut a piece for each side. And this is two inches by five and a quarter. And that's going to go on the front, just like that. And then for the inside, I've cut another piece. And this was cut at four by five and a quarter. To go on top of the plaid, I found this really cute wood grain paper. This was from Colorbook. And I've cut this piece at three and three quarters by five. That's going to go on the inside. And then for the front two flaps, I've cut two pieces at one and three quarters by five. We need a mat to put our image on, so I cut another piece of the craft cardstock at three inches by four inches, and another piece of the plaid at two and three quarters by three and three quarters. I'm going to adhere these together, and they're going to go right here on the front. But before I put these on, we're going to put some ribbon on this gatefold card and it's going to act as our closure and I've got this really cute brown and white polka dot sheer ribbon that I thought would be really cute on here so let me go ahead and get these two pieces adhered together and then we'll cut that ribbon and I'll show you how we're going to attach it to the card I've gone ahead and cut off some of the ribbon, and I've probably cut off way too much, but I'll keep the scraps because I can always use small pieces of ribbon somewhere. And I want to adhere this to the center of the back of the card. So I'm going to flip it over, and if I line it up on my grid, it's five and a half inches. So I'm going to scoot it up just a little bit to find the center of the back of the card and that's right about here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my ATG gun and just put a line of tape right across there. I'm going to take the center of my ribbon. Wow, I did cut a lot. And just place that right there and stick that down and then we're going to flip it over and I want to attach it only to the right front panel so I'm going to put some more ATG glue right there and attach it just to this panel Okay, I've got all my ribbon on for my closure, and it's attached to the back and only on the right-hand side. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the mat for my image, but I'm only going to put adhesive just on this one side. 
and I'm going to center it this way but keep it over to the side so I've got room for my bow over here that I'm going to tie as the closure for my card. Now this is how it looks on the front and here is the inside and you can see the ribbon has been caught between this front panel that our image is going to go on and the front flap and that's exactly how we want it. Now for our little image this is a fall card so I've cut the cute little squirrel in Create a Critter and you'll find him on page 32. He's got this background layer and I cut that out of a chocolate brown. Layer 1 is this orange layer then he's got a stripe on his tail and that's some craft card stock and then right here is the front part this little ivory part so I cut that out of ivory and he was cut at two and three quarter inches I've inked around him with some Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink and I've got him on one thickness of foam tape and I'm just gonna put him right there now for my sentiment I went ahead and cut this little wavy banner and stamped O oh Nuts from the Cards TV This and That stamp set. And I've stamped this in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I've inked around this with some Tim Holtz Tea Dye Distress Ink. This is going to go right up here. And on top of that, I'm going to add this little acorn. And I cut that out of some orange cardstock and some craft. And the top part of the acorn, I ran through the cuddle bug using the Swiss Dots folder just to give it some dimension. I've got this on one thickness of foam tape, and this is going to go right here at the end of that little banner. And you can find that acorn on page 32, the same as the little squirrel, under accessories. Here's the bottom and the top, and I cut the acorn at an inch and a half. So I'll go ahead and get this attached to the front, and then we'll do the inside of our card. I think it's looking really cute. For our inside, I took a piece of white cardstock that I cut at 3 inches by 4 inches. I went ahead and stamped Happy Fall, y'all, from the Cards TV Thankful For You stamp set. I used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm going to get this adhered down, and for a little bit more color down here at the bottom... I cut another piece of the plaid, and this is three quarters of an inch by three and one quarter. I'm going to put that right there, and I've got another little acorn that I cut at an inch and a half. That's on one thickness of foam tape, and I'm going to add that right there. So I'll go ahead and get this attached to the inside, and then my sweet friend Kim asked me if I would tie a bow in a video. <laughs> And I'm not very good at it, Kim, but I'm going to do it for you. So I'll get this adhered down, and we'll come back and get this card tied in a bow. Okay, Kim, here we go. I'm going to attempt this. And you know me, guys. Sometimes I'm not happy with bows, and I have to do it off camera. Because I spend so much time trying to get them just right. So keep your fingers crossed that I can get it right without taking too much time. Well, let's see. Maybe it's going to happen. Get it a little bit smaller. I love this ribbon. And it's fairly easy to tie. You see what I mean? I keep going, don't I? Okay. Now, we've got to get it fluffed up a little bit. Don't like flat bows, do we? And I'm going to cut the tails of this ribbon with some pinking shears. And that'll keep it from fraying out. You can get these at Joann's or anywhere that sells uh, sewing supplies. And I'm just going to snip this off at an angle. And I like that zigzag edge it gives it, too. Okay, guys. 
there we go there's the bow cam <laughs> I'll probably keep working with it because I'm not quite happy with it. It's a little bit too big, I think. But there's our card for fall, our gate fold. Hope you guys had fun. I know I did. I'll see you again soon. Bye now. <laughs>